Uh, up next, uh, you know, we actually saw from the uh, introductory video, uh, Taylor, Sunir, uh, and Emily were talking about some of the uh, changes and uh, new platform features that have emerged from Retool over the last couple of years. And really, like within the last year, Retool has gone from being uh, sort of exclusively a UI builder to like a full stack software development platform. Uh, we have a persistence layer in Retool database. We have a backend services layer now uh, with Retool workflows. We have a mobile application builder that kind of brings the same experience of building front-end applications uh, in Retool to building like native mobile applications that can integrate with uh, native device APIs. So uh, Retool is definitely not uh, just about building dashboards anymore. You can build some pretty complex uh, pieces of software. Um, but when you have those kinds of uh, components and, and building blocks to work with, it can be a little confusing to understand kind of how they all fit together. So uh, we thought it might be useful to create a sample application that shows you how all of diff the different parts of the Retool platform work together. And uh, to demonstrate how I, how that works and to show off the sample application we built, um, I'm going to welcome up uh, another couple of my uh, very favorite people in the world, uh, Christina Zhu and Amit Jatwani on the uh, developer experience team here at Retool. So uh, Christina, hi, how are you doing? Oh, I think we are muted. That's that's how you know it's live, oh, folks. Hello, doing hey, great. Thanks for <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much for joining us, Amit. How are you doing? Coming to us all the way from India, like a few uh, viewers here today, actually. Yeah. Hi, Kevin. Good to be here. Super excited. All right. Awesome. So I'm uh, very excited to share the share the demo here today, and uh, sort of the theme of the demo that we're going to show is uh, sort of evocative of a, a fantasy that seems to be ascendant in the developer world these days, which is you know leaving programming behind and uh, going to the analog world, working with your hands a little more. Uh, some folks have talked about uh, you know working on a farm, others you know starting up a brewery, um, and I think uh, Ahmed and Christina, they I've sort of uh, version of this for you is just opening up your own uh, bricks and mortar bookstore. And I think like that's the demo we're going to see. Yeah, Kevin, you could say that I'm turning a new chapter in my life. <laughs> oh, geez. Wow. We, that, that joke was not rehearsed and uh, you are fired now as a result of the <laughs> new chapter. Uh, but let's, uh, let's keep going. Well, what are you going to, what are we going to get to see today? Yeah, so um, we, Christina and I have been chatting about this and we thought this would be a good new career for us. So we have partnered up and we are planning to open up a Hobbit Fold bookstore. And what you're seeing right now is the book management software that we have built using Retool. So as you can see, this is giving you a screen of all the books that we have. I can cycle through in this table. And if you uh, were looking for a specific book, maybe uh, we can help you, Kevin. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'm, I can kind of uh, jump into the uh, fantasy here. So I am imagining I'm walking through Manhattan and I'm in Chelsea and I see this like adorable little storefront, which is the Hobbit Hole bookstore. And um, I'm a big fan of uh, buying books for like the, the children and small people um, in my life. And uh, one that I remember being an absolute banger was Pat the Bunny, which uh, was a you know children's book. You could pet a bunny, have very nice pictures. Uh, definitely one that should be in every young child's collection. Is, the, is that one in the inventory somewhere? All right. Well, let's see. So we have this search text box here. I'm going to type in bunny. Let's see. Oh, yep. Looks like we do have uh, 10 of those in stock, Kevin. Okay, sweet. Excellent. Um, but yeah, uh, unfortunately, it looks like... I think there's supposed to be an image preview there, yeah? Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Um, let's see what's going on. Um, and since this this entire app is built using Retool database, I can just hop over to my Retool database and see if there's anything going up with the table uh, here. So yeah, I'm, on right. my, I'm on my sample books, and I'm going to use quick find to look for bunny. And let's see. Oh, yep. Looks like the image URL is missing here. I do have very conveniently this URL that we can try to paste in our table. And hopefully that should fix the problem here. So let's hop back into the app. I'm going to hit this refresh button. And there it is. We have the trilogy cover image which looks beautiful. Awesome. So yeah, we ought to kind of uh, benefit from uh, kind of the graphical interface on top of a Postgres database. So uh, Retool database definitely just is a po Postgres DB where you can do everything you would expect to be able to do. Um, but it has like this really nice GUI layer on top, which ends up being really handy for development. 
Absolutely. Yeah, this was super quick to build and you can also do foreign keys and primary keys across the tables as you will see later in the demo. Yeah, for sure. Um, awesome. So uh, actually, yeah, let's let's see if I can um, actually buy that book. I think I'm in. Let's uh, let's purchase it. Um, I would like to take it home. All right. Let's hit this checkout button here. And uh, since you're a family, Kevin, we can give you a special retail discount. How's that? Ooh, I will I will stack up those savings whenever given the opportunity. So uh, appreciate it. That's pretty good. It's a dollar off. Yeah, let's let's check it out. It's a grand total of five dollars and eighty seven cents, and that shows up in our orders. So here's a book. Awesome. Well, there we go. It's uh, showing up in the orders. Oh, you know what though? Um, there was a second one that I was going to get because uh, Pat the Bunny talks about a uh, animal that you can touch, which is you know where petting is encouraged. Uh, but there is a class of uh, animals and creatures which uh, you generally don't want to touch. Uh, the which are monsters. So uh, oh. there's, I think, a children's book. It's called like Never Touch a Monster, if memory serves. Right. Uh, did do y'all happen to have that one in stock? Let's see. If I oh, could type a this. monster. Um, oh, well, like... noth nothing monster related. Oh yeah, man, that's a pity. But you know what? I remember we actually got some new stock in our stock room, and I think I remember seeing a monster book selection also. So I'm actually going to switch over to my mobile app and see if I can scan that. And for some reason, my reflector has timed out so bear with me while i fire this up again yeah we have a uh yeah just a like we're gonna airplay amit's uh phone to the screen here if, if you ever uh demo software on your phone uh there's this app called reflector it's essentially like an airplay uh mirror and uh you can just like uh, airplay your device to this little container so super super handy it looks like we are back all right so we have this app uh, and I am going to go to my second tab, which is adding a book. And I'm going to tap on scan ISBN. And I have this monster book here. I'm going to scan the ISBN. And there's the book. Awesome. Great. So you can like add it to the inventory. And uh, by the way, like just as Amit's uh, kind of uh, punching through this workflow, um, this was created with Retool Mobile, uh, so it's it was built in kind of the same way that you would expect to build desktop apps in Retool, but uh, because it's a mobile app, like it gets updated over the wire, uh, like through by Retool, like you can use uh, you know access this app through the Retool Mobile app that you can download through the App Store. Um, so you can kind of have the speed of building an app in Retool, but uh, kind of not have to worry about deployment to the app store and, you know, code signing and all the um, nonsense they have to do to, you know, distribute a mobile app. So um, very cool. So it looks like we've got it. Um, and yeah, let's, let's go ahead and buy this one too. All right. Let's give you the same special discount and let's check out a copy of that. Cool. And again, that shows up in the orders. Sweet. Very awesome. Uh, Y'all are running a pretty tight ship here. Um, and uh, because, you know, this is a retool application, it's still talking to the same retool database, using the same queries, um, all that stuff, which is uh, which is awesome. Um, I do have a question, though. Like, I'm imagining, you know, you have this bricks and mortar storefront in uh, New York, but uh, you, you just sold me a book for like $20 and then maybe $6 before that. How are you actually affording rent in a city like New York? I'm not, yeah, that's a uh, great. How does that work? Yeah, that's a great question, Kevin. The the special secret sauce here is Christina. She runs a very tight ship. I am mm. all about keeping people happy and finding the books on the store. And Christina just makes things happen uh, monetarily and revenue wise. So, so you're you're in sales, and Christina uh, does the does the finances. That makes sense. Absolutely. So, so I might like direct that uh, question towards you, Christina. Like, how do you manage to keep this business afloat? Um, I'm imagining Retool is part of the solution for you as well. Yeah, definitely. So I use Retool to build some dashboards, which help me kind of figure out what books we should restock and which books um, people want. So like you said earlier, we only want to stock bangers in our store, such as Pat the Bunny. Um, so I built this kind of sales report dashboard that helps me see what people are buying and um I can also change the date range here. So let's just say in the last seven days, let's take a look. 
um, at how we're doing. So we've made $500 in the past week, um, you know, which will cover our rent in the middle of Manhattan, as you may know. And I can also see, you know, the top selling books, as well as the most popular book sales by category. And this is all built with like the retool chart component. And this is all also just querying the same DB that you saw earlier, which is super cool. So like you said before, Pat the Bunny is the number one um, selling book right now in our bookstore. Awesome. Very cool. It looks like you have the discount codes down there too. And uh, for the record, uh, chat, not a money laundering operation at all. Uh, Hobbit Hole, completely legitimate. Yes, completely legitimate uh, bookstore. Uh, we, we just get, um, we are lucky that our, customers are so supportive and buy our books. Yeah. Maybe there's, there's Patreon potentially, who knows. Um, but the uh, other bit that was actually kind of cool in this application is you have this inventory report that kind of keeps you, keeps, helps you keep on top of which books are in stock and what have you. Yeah. So I also have this inventory report that lets me know which books that we're running out of and which books that we are actually out of. Um, but I don't actually look at this screen all the time. I actually have a workflow that helps alert me whenever we're out of stock. Awesome. Yeah. That does seem like something you'd want to stay on top of outside of like a GUI, but okay. Awesome. So you've got a workflow set up that just runs daily to kind of check the stock. It looks like. Yeah, so I can explain this workflow a little bit. So every day at 10 p.m., this workflow will automatically start. And the first thing it'll do is fetch from our retool DB and select all the books that are um, quantity zero. So right now we have three books that are a quantity of zero. Then it passes this data into my next block, which kind of just formats this data into like a nice little message. And, you know, I wrote it in JavaScript, but we also support Python and workflows if Python, you know, is your jam. And I just ran it and it formatted and let me know which books are out of stock as long, along with their ISBN. Then I pass this message into my Twilio block here. So I set up a Twilio block here and it integrates with our Twilio integration. And it sends a message to the Twilio API here. Um, and it passes, you know, this message here into the body. And I actually have my phone right here. So if I just run this, it should show up on my phone. So yeah, every day at 10 p.m., I get an alert from Twilio that tells me which books are out of stock, and it just kind of lets me know um, how to keep on top of things. Sweet, yeah. So um, I think like for uh, you know the folks uh, playing along at home, we just saw you know a native mobile application that manages inventory. We saw a backend workflow that runs on a recurring basis that you know, checks our inventory and sends out a text message when it's getting low, um, and multiple like internal tools that were built uh, using the uh, app builder on top of Retool Database. And uh, it took, I think, you and Amit um, on the order of like a couple days to put all this stuff together. Yeah, so building this out in Retool did take us a couple days, but it was pretty seamless. And you know, working with Retool DB was pretty easy and you know, pretty pleasant to work with. Sweet. And uh, I think you have it open in a tab here, but um, we are going to actually share a GitHub uh, repository with folks um, that I can actually uh, drop in the chat right now. We'll, we'll include it kind of in our post-event uh, communications here too. But if, you're, uh, if folks are interested, I think they can find all the code here, yes? Yeah. So we have put this bookstore app um, with everything in it in this GitHub repository. And we do have step-by-step -step instructions on how you can set this up locally if you want to try all these things out. Um, yeah, let us know what you think. And if you need any help, feel free to reach out. 